Euphorbiaceae is the fourth largest family of angiosperms which is cosmopolitan in distribution. This family is popularly known as Perch family because of the largest genus Euphorbia. And the Euphorbia is characterized by the presence of milky latex and the special type of inflorescence which is called the Cyathean inflorescence. Spurge is originated from the Anglo-French word Esperger which means to clean out or parg or expurge which means the purgative actions of the milky latex. The milky latex is toxic and also poisonous when come contacts with the skin causes inflammations and also blistering. When contact with eyes causes severe damage to cornea and leads blindness. Its toxicity is due to the presence of variety of phytotoxin including diterpene, esters, alkaloids, cyanogenic, glycosides etc. When ingested, it can lead to a sharp local irritation of the mucous membrane in the mouth and throat, dizziness, acute gastrointestinal disorders with vomiting, diarrhea, cramping and severe pains. And the numerous Euphorbiaceae species are listed on the poisonous plant database of the US Food, Food and Drug Administration. The latex is toxic but these have many medicinal properties. They are very useful to treat warts and also ringworm infections on the skins. The family is also called the resinous family because one of the important member of this family is the gastroid plant which scientific name is resinous communis and that's why family is called the resinous family and uh, the family is very important source of the food ornamentals, medicinal crops and oil and also oil plants. Medicinally important drugs which includes the Philanthus amaris, Philanthus emblicia, Euphorbia hirta, Croton tiglium etc. and food crops which includes manihot esculenta that is the tapioca. Then oil plants includes castor oil plant and also jetropha species. Then ornamental plants which includes Euphorbia, Splendent, Poinsettia, etc. Heavier resilience is, is a huge tree which is a source of rubber which have very huge economical values today. So let us go to the systematic position of the family. Class is Dicotyledon, subclass Monoclamide and series is Unisexual. You know the characteristic features of the Dicotyledon. So the next is the monoclamide, which is the subclass of the Euphorbiaceae family. In monoclamide, there is no distinction between calyx and corolla. Periant lobes are present and it is one word or more. And the series, characteristic features of the series are the series itself is the unisexual. So it means that the flowers are unisexual. That is, it may be the female flower or male flower. And the perianth is sepaloid and or sometimes it may be much reduced or absent. The perianth lobes are sepaloid or it's reduced or absent. Then the ovary is syncarpus. These are the characteristic features of the unisexual. Next is the common plants of Euphorbiaceae. Resinus communis, Philanthus emblica, Philanthus amaris, Philanthus reticulatus, Acalypha indica, Acalypha fruticosa, Acalypha hispida, Jetropha carcus, Jetropha gossipifolia, Tragia involucrata, Euphorbia hirta, Euphorbia thymifolia, Euphorbia thirukalli, Euphorbia antiquarum, Euphorbia nerifolia, Euphorbia pulcherima, Euphorbia heterophila, Euphorbia splendens, Manihot hesculenda, Baleospermum montanum, Croton tiglium, Croton spaciflorus, Croton levigatus, Putrangiva roxbergi, Micrococa mercurialis, Pedilanthus. Tithymaloids is also called the Euphorbia Tithymaloids. 
Melotus philippensis, Hevia brasiliensis, etc. and also Bridalia stipularis. Next is the diagnostic characters of Euphorbiaceae family. First one is the Euphorbiaceae members are serophytic in nature and they are contained in the latex and the latex may be in the form of white color or it may be yellow or it may be the watery. So the presence of latex is the most important characteristics of the family. Then inflorescence is variable and but as there is a special inflorescence which is the characteristic of the Euphorbiaceae family is the Cyathean inflorescence and reduced unisexual flowers. Flowers are unisexual and these unisexual flowers are reduced to stamens or it may be the reduced to carpels. Then perians are one, maybe two whorls, one whorls, two whorls or it may be the absent. The stamens are one to many. The ovary is tricarpillary, trilocular with pendulous ovules on axial placentation and the fruit is the schizocarpic fruit and the characteristic fruit of the euphorbiac is the rachma and the seeds are carangulate. So I will explain these all terms in later subtopics. General features and habitat. Next is the vegetative characters. First is the habit. This family includes large number of annuals or perennial herbs. Then shrubby forms, serophytic shrubs, twining shrubs, perennial twiners and also trees. The annual herbs called the Micrococa mercurialis is a kunukitati. And perennial herbs is Califa indica, cupamini, philanthus amaris, kidarnelli, euphorbia hirta, nilapala. Then shrubs, a califa fruticosa, chinni, resinous communis, avanak, jetropha is Katavanaka or Kadalavanaka. Then serophytic shrubs, Euphorbia Tirukali, that is commonly called a Tirukali, Euphorbia Antiquarum Chadurakali, Euphorbia Titimaloids, which is called uh, Tatta Machedi. Then twining shrubs, Bridalia stipularis is called Cherua Panacha in Malayalam. Then perennial twiner is Tragia involucrata, is called a Vallichurianum. Then trees, Hevia Brasiliensis, that is rubber, Philanthus emblica. Then Putran Jeeva, Roxburgh. Latex is present in all parts of the plant body, especially in Euphorbia species. And also in Jetropha, uh, it's contained the latex is in the form of yellowish color. Next is the root. Root is much branched that root and uh, tuberous root in Manihot Esculenda. It's also called tapioca or cassava root and which is a rich source of starch. Stems are aerial erect prostrate in Euphorbia thymifolia, herbaceous or woody, cylindrical, branched, hollow or solid, hollow in resinous and also Euphorbia pulcherima. Stems contain laticiferous duct which contain latex. The stem exhibit curious modification as consequence of adaptation to seric environment that the stems contains leaves which are very reduced and they are spiny and stem become thick and succulent and also cactus like and which store uh, uh, water example for be antiquarum for be thirukalle leaves are colline and ramel stipulate or extipulate sometimes stipules modified into spines in euphorbia splendens in jetropha species the stipules become branched and hair like the leaves are petiolate or sessile then margins are entire, dentate or serrate. In serophytes, especially in euphorbia, the leaves are caducus, that is it easily falls down, then reduced and also scale like. Small and caducus in euphorbia thiduca leaf, reduced and modified into spines in euphorbia antiquarum, then evergreen leaves found in resinous jetropha etc. Commonly the leaves are alternate but opposite in Euphorbia hirta and also Euphorbia thymifolia. Then simple leaves in tragia, croton, etc. But it is palmately lobed. Leaves are simple but it is palmately lobed in manihot, resinous and also jetropha. Compound leaf in hevia that is it is trifoliate leaf in hevia, resiliensis that is rubber. In philanthus the Leaves are simple but appear as pinnately compound leaf and the flowers arising from the axils of each leaf. 
In taut and ornamental species, the leaves are variegated and very attractive. Glandular hairs are present at the base of leaf petiole in Jetropha and also Resinus communis. The venation is unique case state or multicostate reticulate venation. Next is the floral characters. First is the inflorescence. Inflorescence varies greatly. It may be the racemose, cymose or complex type of inflorescence. Let us first discuss about racemose and also cymose type of inflorescence. Simple raceme and also catkin type of inflorescence is seen in acalypha and also tragia. Then in resinous, there is a male flowers and also female flowers. That is the flowers are unisexual and they are arranged in a panicle of racemes. That is the plant is monoecious. That is male and the both female and female male flowers are found on the same plants and they are arranged in a panicle of raceme. Uh, and the male flowers, sorry, the female flowers at the top and the male flowers at the below. In croton, there is an opposite, that is the male flowers above and the female flowers below. In Philanthus neroli, the male flowers arise in axils of lower leaves, whereas female flowers arise in the axils of upper or younger leaves of a branch. In Jetropha, the inflorescence of cymose type and the flowers are arranged in terminal signs. And in manihot, the flowers being arranged in resins. There is a special type of inflorescence which is found in Euphorbiaceae family and it's found on the Euphorbia genus. And uh, now let us uh, dis uh, detailedly discuss about what is a cyatheme inflorescence. Cyatheme is a special type of inflorescence which is found in the Euphorbia genus of Euphorbiaceae family. The flowers are all are unisexual types. And cyathea may be solitary or variously arranged in cymose groups, like acial cymes or in herbs. That is the cyathea may be solitary and it may be groupedly arranged. A cyathea has always a single central female flower surrounded by many male flowers and these are enclosed within a cup shaped involucre of colored or green plants and also one to five pocket shaped nectar separating glands on outer surface of the cup. You know that the flowers are unisexual and the male flowers and also female flowers are there and there is a single centrally located female flowers which surrounds a large number of male flowers and these two are enclosed within a cup shaped structure which is called the involucre of brads and it may be the colored or green colored. Thus in the cyatium a large number of male flowers each represented by a stalked stamen with a bract and are found arranged around a central stalked flower. We studied that the flowers are very much reduced. So, here a single flower is represented by a stamen or a gynation because it represents, it consists of a bract, base of the stalked stamen consists of a bract and each stamen or each carpel is represented by a single flower. So thus the female flowers represents a gynation which consists of a stalk with a bract and a superior ovary with three sessile stigma. Thus, the complete inflorescence looks like a single flower. The bracts are arranged like a perianth because the bracts are so closed and united that they form a cup-like structure. The male flowers are surrounds the female flower by a five monocotyl scorpioid sign. The next is the flower. The flowers are always unisexual and they are very much reduced. In Euphorbia, each male flower is represented by a single stalked stamen and female flower consists of a stalked gynation. And uh, the plant may be demonaceous or dioecious. In resonance, the both the male and the female flowers are seen on the same plant. And the flowers are bracteate, pedicellate or subsessile. Bracts are colored in poinsettia. The flowers are regular, actinomorphic, 
hypogynous and sometimes the flowers may be this slightly zygomorphic then pendamerous minute and conspicuous next is the perianth perianth consists of four to five tepals arranged in one or two whorls perianth which means we can't distinguish the calyx and corolla clearly so in croton and jetropha both calyx and corolla are present but in euphorbia both the calyx and corolla are absent and they are represented by tiny scaly structure in resinous calyx is present but corolla is absent in acalypha indica the perianth is represented by four minute sepaloid petals and also in case of philanthus there is a sepaloid petal is present but they are arranged in two whorls it consists of six tepals and they are arranged in two whorls estivation is valvate or imbricate estivation andrician consists of stamens which are varied to one to many usually as many as perianth leaves in euphorbia a single stalked stamen represented by a single male flower and in philanthus there is only three stamens are present in resinous usually five stamens are present each stamen is profusely branched in jetropha consists of 10 stamens and they are arranged in two whorls five of two whorls indefinite stamens in croton species and the filaments are free united branched in resinous basi fixed or versatile and thus bithicus they have by longitudinal transverse or apical pores in female flower the stamen is represented by staminodes next is the gynecium gynecium consists of three carpels tricarpellary trilocular syncarpous superior ovary with axile placentation each locule contain one or two pendulous anatropous ovule and gynecium consists of uh, styles and also stigma and there are three distinct styles which are free and each style is forked into two stigmas the total six stigmas are present in some cases micropylar swellings develops which is called the carangle the fruit are schizocarpic is a special type of fruit called the rachma which is the characteristic fruits of resinous communities Rachma is a schizocarpic fruit developed from multicarpellary syncarpous superior ovary where the fruits divide into number of partitions and each partition is called a cocci and they are divide into one seeded cocci and the fruits are breaks violently that is it split open exclusively and scattering the small seeds and divide into one seeded cocci and such type of fruit is called the rachma which is the characteristic fruit of resinous in bredelia the fruit is a drupaceous type and also in philanthus the fruit is drupe the seeds are endospermic in resinous the carangles developed from the micropyle carangule means wart carangule is a latin word which means the wart the carangles are the fleshy or spongy outgrowth or appendages or excrescences of the integument near the micropyle of certain seeds the main function of the carangle is to absorb water which is necessary for germination the general name of the carangle is called the elio somes elio means the oil and soma which means the body the elio somes are the fleshy structure that are attached to the seeds of many plant species the elaiosome is rich in lipids and proteins and may be variously shaped the particular elaiosome in this sponge family of euphorbiaceae is called the carangle and the seeds are that have the carangles are called the carangulate seeds and that do not have carangles are called the carangulate seeds this is the longitudinal section and the floral diagram of cyathium inflorescens and try to write the floral formula of male and also female flower floral formula of different species of euphorbiaceae family this is also a diagram of cyathium inflorescence and draw the label parts and post it on comment box 
Next is the medicinal importance of euphorbaceum. Resinous communis is an anti-arthritic and also purgative drug used for treating constipation and also rheumatism. The next is the Micrococca mercurialis, which is an expectorant drug used for treating sinusitis, skin diseases, and also have anti-arthritic properties. And these are the various uh, medicinal plants. You already studied these in different topics under pharmacognosy and also medicinal botany. Find its chemical constituents, properties, etc. Okay, thank you.